Blabber uh, 388. Oh, no, no top one. Sick. Can't have that, can we? I got my pants on. It's a modesty. Okay. All right. Blabber 388. Assorted ideas. But just, just stuff I've been writing down. Okay. Um, uh, okay. That stuff is just private notes. Of it, but, uh, I'm going from a notebook. Uh, I know a high maxim. Invite God into your life. Listen to an album with him. So, you know, sort of... um. So spend time with God, you know, and um, talk to God and uh, invite him into your room, into your life. And, um, invite him to read along with you as you're reading a book or something or listen to some music or watch a TV program with him. And let, let God get involved with your life. And that, that way you have a, a, a spiritual dynamic to your, your walk with God in life. So that's got to be a good thing because God can take care of us. So sort of... And I know I have maximum, maxim, invite God into your life, listen to an album or something, a musical album. Okay. Um, it's probably the normal thing to believe in heaven when I die, but Catholic faith was wrong. So, um, you know, that, that's what I normally believe when I grew up. But I've come into Noahide faith and Torah faith, and... Um, now, this is a big part of a debate which I go through. There's eternal life on earth or in heaven. And I think these days I'm probably believing it's probably a heavenly thing. But that's, that's an ongoing debate. Okay, uh, Alhambra and Wild Cowboys, we'll, we've covered that. So this is Blab of 388, various ideas or whatever it is. Okay, I had an idea for my son Caledon. A uh, career ambition. If I have a son called Caledon one day, Caledon Daly, that he could um, he could study English, math, science, computers, and do an engineering degree. And one of my ideas is that he would work on an ocean rig and write novels later on in life in his forties or something. And uh, so I'll follow a career, sort of a, 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 an Alistair MacLean sort of adventure man, and write action novels like Alistair MacLean. I, I am a McLean as well. My grandmother is a McLean. So, you know, there you go. My, my dad's mum. Uh, the willpower of the spirits to be able to talk to me demonstrates that I can't escape all of humanity. Um, spirits talk, talk from my voice, and um, one of the ideas is that you can't escape the general way of the world. You could try and carve out your own identity and things, and you can, but what, whatever's going to be is going to be, in a sense. You, know, you can't escape what mankind insists on. The, the strength of the will of the spirit of humanity, in a sense. It's an idea. Um, world expansion ideas. Uh, Yahweh. Y-H- Y-A-H-W-A-Y. Uh, like Subway, the Yahweh, where God runs a, a, a tube station, a train station, where he thrusts along to, to right out to edges of the universe, you know, uh, freezes us for a second and thrusts on in the split in a split second, a split of infinity, and then unfreezes and releases us on to where we're at in that place of the universe. That is for an expanding world doctrine where to get around wherever you want in the universe in an expanding planet Earth, you'd need a Yahweh. And um fast for light travel ideas and ultra fast travel and communication as well. Yarnet for the Yarnet for instant communication anywhere that the world is expanded to. Uh, and uh, or more ideas. When God is eternally growing, uh, months, months. When God has eternally growing money, as in the Yahweh and Yarnet and Yatek companies, those are the ideas for what I was thinking. Yahweh is 
God to you. Um, he can pro he can afford to uh, have a kind of mercy once to the world by employing people. And uh, if God was the richest company with his Yahweh and Yah taking Yana idea in an, an expanded world, because we've got to pay God to do the Yahweh, run the show, wouldn't he? And uh, if you could go to God for employment and things. You know? Just an interesting idea, world expansion ideas. Anyway, um, one of the ideas which was, if you expect to be allowed fornication, then expect heaven, and that will and that you will die. Being a fornicator means you do not qualify for eternal life on earth. And one of the arguments recently was that you, you have to actually repent completely of venereal disease concepts to really to live forever on earth. You can't, well, you know, you can't die, can you? If you get a VD, they can kill you in the end. Um. Um, right. Some ideas on Taylor Swift. Uh, a love story poem. Here, here's a poem for you, Taylor. It's a love story, Juliet. You and me forever. I'll say I'll never let you go. No, I'll never leave you ever. There's no other love quite like you. Baby, I adore thee. Baby, I adore thee. You were made to be my bride, my ever true love story. There you go, Tails. Um, shade makes you less gay. Shade makes you less gay. Uh, no hard TV. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Arvo, when the fodder is on No High TV. Generally, all the bland, regular, normal, mundane, and boring stuff. And, um, cool and weird and oddball and stuff. But, uh, Wacky Wednesday, maybe, for once per month for really oddball stuff, but the cool stuff on TV on the weekend, like they normally do it. It's just an idea on no-hide TV concepts. I had ideas on classical um, stuff like um, Challenge of the Stars, science fiction stuff, and imagery using classical music. It probably are just ongoing videos, sort of like ambient electronic videos on YouTube, just ideas with shifting around like cartoons or something, which just with classical music and stuff like that, you know, sort of not quite um, TV or, or a movie or anything like that, but just the scenes change all the time and um, you do it with classical music and stuff like that. And you could do it with ambient electronic as well, stuff like that. So for like play school stuff and Challenge of Stars, building, um, building, uh, what is it? Coruscant, like in Star Wars and Where the Wild Things Are TV show and Childcraft Encyclopedia, the maze thing in Childcraft Encyclopedia we had when we were a kid and uh, all sorts of things. Um, another idea for top 20 whinges, the top 20 shows on Australian TV, top 20 whinges, moans and spats. There's been a few of those. Uh, all right. That's a story which I've got to type out. There's some story notes. Um, that's just about it. But I have one more idea for the doctrine of respect of possessions. And I won't cover that now, but I might I might do that in a Stealing's Not Right video. We'll see how that goes. I've probably really covered that, that doctrine well enough, but I might do that again. Um... Yeah, I think that's mostly about it, really. I've got some other notes in here for plans for what I want to do for the future, but that's personal plans, which doesn't really have to be talked about. And I think I've got a thing here which I don't want to do yet, anyway. But that's just the sorted ideas and the sorted, sorted stuff for uh, a bit more blather.